Welcome back to the Sassandra Show. Y'all, it's now time for What, what the, the Health? health? <laughs> Listen, this is where we dive into all things related to health, lifestyle, and nutrition. And trust me, today's episode is going to leave your taste buds dancing with joy because we are still here with the one and only doctor, doctor, doctor. I say that because <laughs> he's got three PhDs, Stevie DeJuan Springer. And we're about to embark on a culinary adventure that not only satisfies our cravings, but also fuels our bodies with the goodness they, de they deserve. So y'all, let's get into what are we making today? <laughs> let's get into it. Yeah. So, you know, it's just really interesting that, um, there are some things, because I'm covering both di uh, diabetes and hypertension, mm -hmm. uh, high blood pressure, I'm just trying to be able to bring forth things that are both good for hypertension and diabetes. But before I do that, I I'm want to actually, I want to share with you, okay, so our, our body holds a gallon and a half of blood. Really? Yes. The this whole is, body? Yes. That's a lot of blood. Uh, yeah. So if you can, you can see that this is a whole gallon and a half a gallon. Mm -hmm. Now, for Di for diabetes or for blood sugar levels, mm -hmm. this is a full tablespoon, but I'm gonna do less so that it equals out to a, a teaspoon. Okay. This is a teaspoon, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You are supposed to be at 100 milligrams per deciliter um, <clears throat> for your blood sugar levels to be normal, mm -hmm. right? Anything below that is really good. Anything above that, when you say, hey, you check your sugar, oh yeah, mm -hmm. I'm at 200, 300. This right here, one teaspoon of sugar is 100 milliliters per deciliter. This oh, is wow. how much um, sugar your body needs for you just to be at optimal levels in terms of um, um, sugar levels. So, per day. Yes. And so that's it. This is it. A this teaspoon. Is, this is over the course of a day. Oh my goodness. Now, this is one teaspoon. That is. Do you wanna know how much we take in daily? That was one. You count for me. Go ahead. We take in one. This is two. Uh huh. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Oh my God. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Dix. Onze. I'm gonna start counting in French. 12, 13, let's go. 14, Jesus. 15, are you serious? Stop it. 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31! No way! 31 teaspoons of sugar a day. A day. And that's probably in one soda. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! A day. Oh my goodness, that's insanity. So over time, you can mm. see why the blood sugar levels are going high. So if someone says- But why us? Why black people? Uh, you know- Why <laughs> people eat cake and sugar and all of that stuff too? Why are we so in trouble with sugar? Well, you know, the interesting thing is that we have to be really, really careful that when we're ingesting things, we have to do what well, we have to watch the back of the labels and make sure that we're not getting in added sugar. Sugar, mm. Because added sugar is what's actually really causing our blood sugar levels to, to spike. Mm -hmm. And so we have to make sure that we're getting in. Uh, if you uh, watch the, the fruit juices that you drink in the morning time, uh, uh, when a lot of people like to have uh, nice bagels and And bagels have and a potato. lot of sugar. They're they're and sugar packed. turns but, into fat, right? Yep, yep, yep. Y'all yep. better come on now. <laughs> oh, so we, that's uh, how it piles on. You know, insulin resistance, <laughs> insulin resistance is something that's majorly important. So insulin resistance, and mm. I like to share with people that that helps the body to control the amount of sugar that the body is taking in. Mm -hmm. When Once the, pan the pancreas cannot uh, um, help to make insulin, insulin anymore, that's when you develop type 1 diabetes, type mm. 2 diabetes. So the question becomes, can you reverse diabetes? And the answer is yes, you can reverse yes! diabetes. Yes! You can't. We're going to do it like this. Yeah. The question is, the question can is, you reverse? The question is. <laughs> yes. Can you reverse diabetes? Yeah. The answer is. Yeah. 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 I love it. We can. You better come on. He can you sing know. too. The doctor can sing. <laughs> so now we've covered the the diabetes for yes. black people. Yes. 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 Why are black people more prone to 
high blood pressure, hypertension. So I think what it happens is, you know, back in the day, and I even teach this in some of my classes, is when back in slave, back in slavery, mm -hmm. we actually were not given some of the things that, you know, were a bit more lean. We were actually given Chitlins. more of the fat. Mm -hmm. So coming up through history, mm -hmm. we were given more of the things that were not as lean. So and it over, just developed in yep. our DNA. It was passed on yeah. through all of that. It, 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 it has. It has. And so, um, and of course, you, when you're given something and you don't like the taste of it, if all else fails, fry it. Yes, because everything <laughs> is better fried. Everything is better fried. And I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it, just not good for us. It's not, it's not good for us. And, wow. and, so, and, and so statistics show that, of course, they say, okay, watch your sodium, watch your sodium. Mm -hmm. Do you know that we actually need to be taking in more potassium? So potassium for, um, now, uh, for hypertension, um, um, we, we need to actually bring in more potassium mm. and not so much sodium, which is the salt. Because um, a lot of people take, they, they do uh, salt. Salt substitutes and the salt substitutes, all that is is potassium. Uh -huh. And so we, we used to be a culture and a generation where the potassium more, was more high and the sodium was lower. Mm. It has now flipped. We have lower sodium and we have now more sodium. Uh, uh, higher, higher potassium? Uh, we have more sodium and less potassium. Mm -hmm. It used to be more potassium and less sodium. Uh -huh. So then the person may ask, well, how can I get in more potassium? Mm -hmm. Potassium is within all your fruits and your vegetables. So sweet would you potatoes. say start off with a banana in the morning? I would say that or even if, if you juice. I drink every morning. Mm. It's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a juice. It's actually um, uh, parsley, parsley juice. Really? I thought yeah. you were going to say something a little bit more interesting. Oh. <laughs> but because, parsley is good for you. Yes. It's so good for you. So you juice parsley. I uh, juice parsley. Okay. It's good for the kidneys, but uh. also it's good. It, it's a, it has a number of nutrients inside of it. And so vegetables, some people don't like uh, squishy vegetables. No. If you, <laughs> if you, if you, if you, uh, you know, boil them up, you can take the juice. There's a lot of potassium within that juice. What about the pressed juices that we see? You Are can, those the best way to like get those things so, in if you don't like to like eat them? Eat them, yes. You can do pressed juices, but it, anything natural is going to be best for you. And mm. so sometimes uh, it's just good to like either have a moment during the day where you say, I'm not going to really like this. If I can stomach it, I'd like to have it. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and I can, I'd like to go ahead and, you know, try doing it. If it's a certain part of the day where I know that I can ingest it, where it's mm -hmm. not going to really make me sick. And so we talk about um, reversing diabetes. Mm -hmm. So reversing diabetes can be done, but you definitely need to have a regimen in place. Speak with your professional and have your professional put together plans. So you need to have a dietary uh, d dietitian. Yes. And you need to have a workout program. Yes. And then, you, and then find out what your baseline is. Is for for diabetes because your baseline will allow you to know where we're starting and then with this regimen we've actually noticed through statistics mm -hmm. that um, one out of four people actually decrease and they become they reverse di uh, type two diabetes and they actually even pre diabetes goes away wow, and then if you're amazing. type one diabetes you lessen your medications that you're on and so the 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 the, the objective is to call uh, to have people have people to definitely come off of the medications and mm -hmm. then also start living a better life. So not only lifestyle changes with exercise and all of those things, it's about diet, right? It, it is starts all, in the yes. gut. I am a firm believer, and this is the reason why I did integrative uh, osteopath. The body is naturally designed to heal on its own. Mm -hmm. I look at, and if I were to have a sermon topic today, come on, <laughs> it would be what kind of car are you driving? Ooh, because <laughs> you know, <wow>. because. <laughs> What kind of car you're driving? You know, yes. <laughs> you know, some people have, I, I remember I had um, a Mitsubishi Galant, one of my first cars, and it had one owner. Uh -huh. And this person took care of this car really, really good. Uh -huh. And I went and got it, and I loved it, I loved it. I t you know, I'm hard on cars. Mm -hmm. But uh, I had it for a very, very long time, and I tried my best to take care of it. Well, here's the difference. When you have an oil leak, mm. Right? Mm -hmm. They have a solution that you can put in your car that would just go to wherever that leak is. And just fix it. Yeah, just fix it. Yeah. But we don't even know where the oil leak is coming from. Right. right? right. So the same thing happens when you have a headache. Mm. When you come into my clinic or some other people's clinic, mm -hmm. I can't, I don't want to just give you 800 milligram of ibuprofen. I want to find out why do you have that headache. Correct. So I want to look into your car and find out where's that oily coming from. Yes. Where's that headache coming from? It's yes. coming from somewhere. This is a precursor to something going on in the body. Correct. And I need to find out uh, yourself should be even concerned with wanting to know where is this headache coming from? The body is naturally designed to heal on its own. When is it designed to heal on its own? When we are asleep. Sleep. 
will keep us from really getting as far as we need to. I just want you to talk about you know, sleep <laughs> a little bit more. Yes, sleep is one of the number one <laughs> issues that we have when it comes yes. to deafness of the body Sleep, man, we sleep, got, We got to sleep. We have to sleep. Yes, we, we have, have to. to rest. And so many Because it like, resets us. Go ahead. And the body heals. The yes, body heals itself. the body heals. Yes, and if yes. you're not, and I'm, I'm, I'm one to, to, to be at fault for this. If you do not get in at least eight hours of Come sleep. Come on, how many did you say again, At sir? least eight hours of sleep. Come on, doctor. If you, and you, if, if you are a middle school kid, it needs to be at least 12 hours of sleep. Oh. Yes, and so if we're not do getting in Do high schoolers get a break? They actually don't. It's actually just two hours more than eight. So eight, nine, so ten they hours. Need ten hours. They need ten hours. Okay, thank you. I just want to say that to my son. Oh yes. The good doctor said yes. you need ten. At least thank ten you hours very much. Sleep. Okay. And so <laughs> when we're not getting in this optimal rest, and a lot of people say, "Well, I, I, I I'm sleeping." No, you're not getting into REM sleep. You're not getting into deep into deep sleep. That deep realm. But yes, you mm -hmm. have to you have to get there. So I pose that we do this: put away all of your electronics, make your room as dark as you can. Mm -hmm. Drop the temperature to 64 to 65 degrees. Ooh. We must sleep when it's cooler. And the reason why is it's because- It's like hibernating. Yes, and the reason why is because when you fall asleep, mm -hmm. your body actually raises in temperature naturally. Ah, so that's not menopause getting me at It night. is not menopause. Everybody goes, Everybody through. goes through menopause. Yes, <laughs> we all menopause. We all menopause. Even the men all pause yes. in their sleep. We're all dropping. So, Doc, yes. I hate to digress, but let yeah. me ask you this question. Please tell me what's yes. in this skillet. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Because it looks so good. It smells yes. so good. So we have what you here, got? many people want to know, well, what can I eat? Okay, so this is this is something that I want people to really take notice. Is um, There's this regular chicken here, mm. and then, of course, we have salmon. Um, you have uh, actually, you, you know, there's there's salad there. There's eggs. Um, you and got there's, uh, what are these? The yes, leaves, the yes, grape leaves. Yes, yes uh, grape leaves are stuffed, and then you also have um, um, Brussels, uh, Brussels sprout, sprouts and the avocado. avocado. So this is this is just an example mm -hmm. of something that we can eat here. So what I do is, if you season your food on the bottom, mm -hmm. when you take your fork and you put it in your mouth, where mm -hmm. are your taste buds? Uh, on the bottom? On your tongue. Yes. So if you season your food, your food on the bottom, it's going to be seasoned. And all you do is just start ch chewing. So just it. make sure that touches my tongue, and then I feel like. Yes, everything you, it's is It's a seasoned. feeling, y'all. It's, it's feeling. not always it's about feeling. a taste. It's yes. about a feeling. Bruh. Yes. <laughs> and Bruh. then also, if those who are like, oh, well, i got to season all my food. It's okay to season all your food. It's just best to season it at the end. Ah. That so way. add it, season? Yes. Add After it, you finish cooking it? Yes. And that will keep down. These are for people who have... Uh, who, who are sensitive to sodium yes. or who want, want to wash their sodium, add it at the end. Because okay. that will keep you from adding as much as you need to mm -hmm. um, because after you cook it. And I'm a, a chef, I, I, but that's another. Chow. <laughs> Bruh. Listen, Bruh. we're going to come back and talk about you being a chef. But thank you yes, so yes, much yes, for yes. joining me today, absolutely. Dr. Springer. Yes. It's been absolutely a pleasure. Thank we're you. We're going to eat this food, but we got to get out of here. Yes. Thank y'all so yes. much for joining us. Chris. You ready, sis? Hey. Thank you, Dr. Springer. Just scan that QR code at the bottom of your screen. Because we got so much more exclusive content for you right here on the Sasanga Show. That's only on Afro TV, Comcast Xfinity Channel 1623. And keep that remote right where it is. Because up next is some more great entertainment on Afro TV. Don't even think about going anywhere. Stay tuned right here on Afro Bro TV. Yes! Hello, everyone. If you are at work, at home, y'all drop everything and tune in because it's time for the Sasanga Show! Yeah! <laughs> Listen, I'm just kidding. Don't y'all get fired. Don't drop everything at work. Listen, speaking of fired, y'all.